everyone. It is Thursday, April 19th, in the year of our Lord 2012. How are all you doing out there? I hope the lighting's good. If not, let me know. I'm trying to do the great outdoors thing. Um, homage to uh, Dan Aykroyd and the late, great John Candy. There we go. Great movie. Highly recommend it. <laughs> um, I got the lovely Crystal Lloyd here, who came all the way from England just to visit us. On her way to uh, Colorado and Wyoming. <laughs> but hey, you know, it's kind of cool. So, good to have you back. She's leaving us tonight, making a long journey with this guy. Grab grab the puppy. Sorry. Um, well, while you grab the puppy, I'm grabbing the beer. Yeah. Blue Moon Limited Spring Release. Blue Moon Valencia Amber Ale. It's out of Golden, Colorado. Look, look, look. Hey, it's Conan. Hey, yeah, this stuff's delicious. Copper colored ale brewed, uh, crafted with roasted malts, Valencia orange peel, and a touch of wheat for a smooth taste with notes of citrus. I've got great a, for a hot day like today. I've got a really funny picture today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, as soon as I pour this here beer. Here um, beer. Sure, why not? <laughs> it works, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Oh boy. A little extra foamy today. I poured it a little too fast. Hey, nobody's perfect. <laughs> that is so if funny. I was perfect, I'd be playing third base for the Red Sox because that would be perfect to me. Cheers. Mmm. Cody, don't be drinking the beer. Conan's trying to drink the bottle of beer. That's all right. It's He'll sleep good. Smart dog. Yeah, knock his ass <laughs> out. There you go. All right, Delilah's picture of the day. Delilah, explain. Uh, Rosie, Blaze, and Amy changed. Clothes. They change clothes, huh? Rosie is Conan. Rosie yeah. is wearing Amy's clothes. Blaze is wearing Rosie's clothes, and Amy is wearing Blaze's clothes. Girls always do that. They wear each other's clothes. And it's so Rosie, weird. And they're and they're saying this is what Rosie's saying. Why do I have to wear Amy's clothes? And then Blaze says, "Cause you look better. Cause you look better than me." And then Amy out of nowhere just says, "I look good in purple." Wow. Pretty good artist. She is. Yeah. She, I'm more autistic than artistic, so. Autistic? Autistic, yeah. It, you'll learn that word years from now. Mm -mm. All right, birthday shout outs. My man Roger Davis. He works on uh, metals technology for a living. The man is like a guru in metal. And uh, he loves Volkswagens. I worked with him in England. Great guy. Got killer hair. Roger, what's going on, my brother? You always called me Hollywood as well. Pretty cool, man. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm surprised I haven't given you a shout-out on this show yet. And I don't know if you folks remember Crystal, who was the most awesome um, aerospace ground equipment delivery lady ever. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she always hooked us up, made our job easier. So, good drivers lead to good production and good things. So, anyway, Roger, cheers to you, my friend. You're probably drunk by now. Well, you're nice to me. I'm nice to you. <laughs> hey, you take care of me. I take care of you, right? Exactly. There you go. I work with this lady in here in Yeehaw, Texas. Christian Middleton. How are you? Happy birthday. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. I'm always doing well. <laughs> if the day ends in a Y, it's a good day. So celebrate your birthday well. Enjoy. One more birthday shout out. My friend Cameron Cooch, who I, I always forget if it's Cooch, Cooch. I can never pronounce your last name. A four-letter last name, and how do I mess it up? I never knew, knew how to pronounce your last name. So, um, give me a shout-out back on this here show, and, uh... Like yeah, Koosh. It probably is Cameron Koosh. <laughs> I'm, ah, all I know is great guy. I knew him in high school. Uh, real quiet guy, real good guy. Hell of a football player, too, by the way. And, uh, so, shout-out to you, my man. And I'm giving a shout-out to my boss, Andy Martinez. He's a Texan, otherwise known as from uh, eastern New Mexico, southern, southern Oklahoma, western Louisiana, northern Mexico. This guy, one of the coolest bosses you can ever have. He just chill, relax, let you do your thing, kick you in the face if you screw up. Hey, that's what good people do. You got to straighten them out sometimes. A set of brass knuckles will do. I'm not advocating violence, unless necessary. All right, so birthday shout-outs are complied with. Um, additional shout-outs. 
my man Joe Pomeranian, or as I always call him, Joe Pomeranian. <laughs> this dude had like the perfect hair. Worked with him in England. Crew dog. He's got like that cool hair, you know, like, yeah, I'm Mr. Freaking GQ and stuff. So how you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. I know I am. Uh, Marcus Pescareca. Another crew dog. Wicked cool guy. He just, the dude never stops working. How you doing, man? Haven't given you a shout out in a while, so I thought I'd give you a shout out and say, yo, what's up, man? Um... And then we're going to give a shout out, a man that you know really well, <laughs> my man Ruben Dozani. Yeah, Ruben, she's coming to see you. She's on her way <laughs> soon, if I don't hold her hostage. <laughs> yeah, my wife and I and Delilah, we kind of like her. She's like wicked cool, so. Kind of, I really do. I oh. love you, Ruben. Oh, la la, <laughs> we got love on the show. That's not the first time that's happened. We had a wedding party on the show. That was cool. Hey, Ruben, she loves you. You love her. You treat her like royalty. She'll take care of you. You take care of the woman. She'll take care of you, all right? Trust me. Why do you think I'm always happy? Because I got the love goddess, and I'm well spoiled, my man. You take care of your lady, all right? She's coming to see you. Trust me. I am the love doctor. I know what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> wow. Show it off. What am I showing? The tattoo. Look at uh... that. We've never had a tattoo on the show before. Damn, she got lots of tattoos. Yes, Ruben, if you're good, who knows? Mm -hmm. Just saying. So yep. Ah shit. <laughs> you can't even say now, now I can't get the damn thing. Well, I'm trying to avoid wiggling the table and knocking my beer over because that would really suck ass. So. Yeah, it probably would. Yeah, you don't spill beer. That's alcohol abuse. Conan will sleep really well. Well, Conan, Conan would sleep well, but I wouldn't. <laughs> I gotta have my beer after a hard day at work to mellow out a little, chill out, because you know I'm high energy, never stop. Exactly. And Mark Reynolds, you know what I'm talking about. Shout out to you, my man. You may love the dolphins. I believe in squish the fish, but you know what? You're a damn walking brain. You are. You got, you're like a man of infinite wisdom. You know everything about everything. It's weird. <laughs> Think about yeah, but I love the guy. Not in that way. Don't get emotionally erect, that tough guy. Whoa. I know I can say that because Delilah's not around right oh, now, so okay. I can I can let loose with the lingo. PG thirteen now. Yeah, at least it's not triple X. So. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. So Mike, shout out to you, my man. Missed the hell out of you. Always a pleasure talking to you. This next guy. Oh, Delilah should be here for this guy. Well, Delilah. Wow, that was loud. A little bit. Well, I'm going to give a shout out to my man Cam Shank. He got to see us off. Farrah and I and Delilah and I are going away, hanging out in England. And uh, great guy. Worked with him. He, um, crew dog by trade, if I remember correctly. And uh, hope you're doing well, my man. Always want to give you a shout out. Always a pleasure talking to you. Love playing those Facebook apps with you. I usually win, but hey, you, you've beaten me as well. I are smart, that's all. And then my man Rick Rod, Rick Rodriguez. You must be happy right now because your t Texas Rangers are beating the crap out of my Red Sox. Not cool. But I still love you, man. And you are a Texan, so that's cool. A lot of respect. So you stick with all your home teams, the, the Rangers, the uh, Cowboys, even though I always rag you about it. Brother, I miss you, man. Hope you're doing well. And finally, my man Magic Danny Shepard. Now, folks, Danny is a guy who is a professional magician. He um, he determines uh, priorities for work. That's what he does. He manages uh, work processes like I did when I worked with him in England. Yay. He has this most <laughs> infectious laugh, and Danny is just incredible. He writes his own songs. He um, does these magic tricks that are just unbelievable with cards and stuff and other things it's incredible Danny you are a huge talent we got to get you recognized I'm not kidding because the job you're doing doesn't pay you enough for what you deserve <laughs> Danny is I'm serious Danny is amazing and and he um, he's also an artist I don't know of anything that man can do oh yeah Conan is working on that beer bottle that's awesome we got a dog that's gonna get drunk on the show, you gotta show hey that'd be kind of cool that'd be kind of oh good idea hey watch this Ha, 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 ha.
He got camera shy. He got camera shy. What oh, a wuss. He got busted. He ran. What a wuss. He bailed. Uh, Delilah, we're giving it. Delilah, don't you miss Magic Danny? Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna give him a shout out? We were giving him a shout out. You better hurry up. Say Magic. hi to Magic. Say hi to Magic Danny. Hi, Magic Danny. Hey, watch this. I'm gonna pull a dog out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. See, Danny? He's a wiggly You're an dog inspiration. Here. She pulled a dog out of nowhere. I pulled a wiggly dog out of nowhere. Wiggly dog out of nowhere. Emphasis on the wiggly. So, Danny, I love you like a brother, man. And not in a West Virginia style either. Or Kentucky, for that matter. Or Arkansas. Or Arkansas. Yeah. Get hit on on your family reunion. Hey. If she, hey, in Arkansas, what do they say? If she, if, if she ain't good enough for her own family, she sure as hell ain't good enough for ours. Oh, that's not funny. I got hit on in my own reunion. You got hit on in your own reunion? You hear that? Oh, my goodness. Well, look at her. She's beautiful. What do you expect? I'm glad I'm not her cousin. I might be no. in trouble. Wow. You got hit on in your own family reunion. In Arkansas. In Arkansas. Wow. That is amazing. Oh, speaking of facts of the day. Here. It, it, this is Crystal's idea, and we're going to institute this on the show. Random fact of the day. So, Crystal, thank you for the inspiration on that. No problem. All right. And uh, today's random fact of the day, we got two of them. It's a twofer, okay? Because the two of us are two facts. Why not? Cool, cool. If you don't like it, oh well. Um, it's my show. Anyway, uh, first random fact. Did you know that 237 years ago today, we had our Battle of Lexington and Concord in Massachusetts. That's right, my state. Remember, it wouldn't be the United States of America if it wasn't for stuff like that. Okay? Nothing against England. I love England to death. That's my that's my heritage. But you know what? It is kind of cool that we have our own country. So, very proud of being an American. It's awesome. It's wicked awesome. Cheers to being an American. Oh, yeah. I'm proud, baby. Proud. <laughs> but I'm even more proud of the fact that that 52 years ago today, the best football team in the world, all right, national football team. I know some of you soccer okay. nuts out there love right. international football, you know, footy, footy as you guys like to call it, but no, American, American football, um, my beloved Patriots, the, the original old school Pat Patriot logo was designed April 19th, 1960, 52 years ago today. Pretty cool stuff. This is a Super Bowl 38 uh, Patriots against, um, uh, who'd we, oh, we played the Panthers in that one. Yes. You know what was famous about that Super Bowl? Thank you, Janet Jackson and um, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> That's right. Out popped the puppy. That was awesome. So, yeah, Super Bowl 38 will always be famous for that as well. That was a great game, too. License place of the day, Marcus Pes record. You're going to love these. Match set. 1972, Iowa plates with 73, 74 stickers on them. Yeah, that's right. Iowa, the wrestling state. Because there's a lot of people I know that were great wrestlers that happen to be from Iowa. Marcus, what's the county code 82? I don't know. Maybe you know. Maybe you can tell me. All right, hope you like the show. Uh, time for the song of the day. A little bit of old school gospel, complete with screaming and everything. Going back to 1953. Today's a sweet day, so we're playing How Sweet It Is by the Bells of Joy. And if this ain't well, awesome, I don't know what is. is. Uh, oh, wait, 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 do it, really? The thing about gospel, you can be an atheist and you will find God listening to some of the stuff I listen to. Whether it's the Lord I believe in, or the Lord you believe in, or the goddess you believe in, you know, this is what gospel is all about. Wait till you hear the, the lead singer, Reverend A.C. Littlefield, start screaming. Oh, yeah. See, she's feeling it all right. She's feeling the spirit. 1953. That's right. You can see where rhythm and blues and uh, doo-wop kind of gospel. Yep, that's right. We all know everything came from the blues. True music fan knows. True music fans know that everything came from the blues. Blues is awesome stuff. Blues ain't nothing but a good man feeling bad, but gospel really energizes you. That's right. Oh, yes. Love me some jazz. There we go. There's that high falsetto coming in. Listen to that 
I hope you heard me. Phenomenal, huh? I bet you're quite a bit. Can't stand during a gospel tour. Wait, you can. But I'm the type of schmuck that can play a gospel tune and then turn around and play something like Cannibal Corpse. Well, I drink beer, yeah. I'm listening to gospel and drinking beer. But I'm not drinking in excess. That's the key. Look at all the wine they drink in church. Oh, my goodness. That little can full of wine. Hey, man. They can get you hammered sometimes if you're a wicked lightweight or something. Oh, did Ruben get drunk after a little cup of wine? Ruben! I'm revoking your man license. You're killing me. Here comes the scream. Oh, yeah. Powerful, baby. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Nineteen fifty-three, Peacock Records. That's right. What do you think, Crystal? Good too? Not bad. Not bad, huh? Not bad. When women say not bad, that means good. When men say not bad, that means it ain't that good either. <laughs> That's just based on what I've noticed. Of course, my wife she wouldn't like this anyway. My wife doesn't like the music very much. Then again, she's married to me, so you know she's probably got rocks in the head. I love my wife to death. Bear, I love you. So. Uh, Delilah, you missed the gun. Oh, you had to put on the bathing suit. Delilah, it's time for you to do what? The goodbye thing. Well, that too. Um, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna be doing soon? Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> That's right. There you go. The other, the trivia question of the day: What movie is that from? You could say name the movie, Delilah. Find Nemo. That's right. Here's your answer. So, if you answer the trivia question of the day... And whose clothes were Bla was Blaze wearing? And whose clothes was Blaze wearing? Whose clothes was Blaze wearing? Rosie's. And the, and the two answers that they could guess for us, the three, is her own, Amy's, or Rosie's. Okay, so Blaze was wearing Rosie's clothes. Yep. See, if men, wore, if men wore each other's clothes, that would be considered <laughs> limp-wristed. Unless it's a dire emergency. At least I think so. I'm not wearing some other dude's clothes. I'm not wearing some other. Ow! He bit my ear. Sorry. Yeah, you know, I'm trying. It's a, it's a nice politically correct way of saying gay, which I have nothing against, by the way. Gotcha. I don't have anything against it. To each their own. Whatever floats your boat. Hey, you know what? I actually always love gay guys, and the reason why is because that was more women available for me. Hell yeah! So anyway, um, folks, it's time to make like a fetus and head out. So everybody take care. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Bye. Don't do anything we wouldn't do. That's right. See, Deli Conan has spoken. Thank you, Delilah, for the help. All right, folks, we're out here. Talk to you later. Let's all hope and pray Crystal has a nice, safe trip to Colorado and Wyoming. Thank you. All right, Crystal, definitely a pleasure and honor having you on this here show. Well, thank you. Definitely a pleasure and honor having you here. Hey, my wife likes you, so that means you're cool. I'm set. Hell yeah. The boss has cleared The boss has cleared you to always come back and visit. And you too, Ruben. You, you go with your better half and come back and visit us. Don't forget us, all right? Talk to you later. Talk to you. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. There you go, Magic Danny. Bye.